Welcome to Jewelry Rescue. Today I have a thrift haul to show you. I picked up some amazing sterling silver pieces just in just three charity shops and I just had to pop on and share with you. So let's get straight in. So this is I think probably the only piece that isn't sterling silver but it was so cool I had to share it with you. It's a huge ring, silver tone, costume, two pounds. I think that somebody will love that I had to pick that up so if you are new here i'm kat and i am a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewelry i resell and restore vintage and pre-loved pieces and i make upcycled jewelry out of bits of broken jewelry as well so this one i could not resist look at this beautiful silver bracelet you can see there it's got a 925 on the clasp and it was two pounds what a bargain had to pick up that one that'll probably go into my cabinet at the antique center and then in the same shop these beauties so the birds and the hooks are sterling and there's a really lovely set of tiny british hallmarks on the hook there and then these are some kind of stone i'm not quite sure what that stone is so shout at me in the comments if you know it's a matte black i mean it could just be stone rather than a gemstone then the next shop always has lots of lovely jewellery and they had so much costume that I could have quite easily picked up. There was a Napier necklace from the 80s. There was all sorts. But to be honest, I have literally hundreds of vintage necklaces to list. So I'm cracking through those and getting them onto my Etsy and eBay shops at the moment. So no more of those unless they're absolute bargain prices. But I couldn't resist these two. So they had a tray of sterling silver single earrings in their cabinet for four pounds each and i picked this one up i'm somebody i know in the 90s had these earrings i thought it was my mum but she doesn't recognize them it's a dolphin jumping through a hoop so i may separate this out and make two pendants from it so maybe hang a pearl or something from that hoop and then turn the dolphin into a separate pendant so for four pounds that'll make two lovely pieces and this etruscan style one i don't know how you say that so correct me if i'm saying it completely wrong um it's a really sweet little dangle i think i will keep that silver tarnish on there and turn it into a little charm that I'll hang on the bottom of one of my bracelets because I like to have a little charm round by the clasp. So that one's for me and that one's for upcycling. Then in the next shop, I found quite a few cool things. So this is costume. I wonder if it might be alpaca. No, having said that, I think it's too heavy. Perhaps it's a pewter. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It actually reminded me of the golden snitch from Harry Potter. It's got this little bell on it here and then these two wings. I need to do a lens search on it and see which where it originates from because it's probably native to a particular country's design. It's a bit Viking actually, now I look at it again. I don't know, what do you think? If you've got some insight, let me know. This one was one ninety five, and I thought somebody would love that, I had to have it. Then I got quite excited when I saw this one. This is uh, the original vintage card, Kiwi Souvenir of New Zealand. And it's on a sterling silver chain, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure that the charm itself is not silver. It doesn't look like it's got a silver finish. There's no hallmarks on it and it doesn't say anything on the packaging. So interesting that it's been put onto a sterling silver chain. Perhaps they just kept the card and they've returned it onto the card. I don't know. But the chain is marked 925 there and it was £2.75. So I might separate them back out and sell the charm separately. I'm not sure yet. Now, this one I think is my favourite from the haul. Check out this guy. So he is sterling silver. I found him using Google Lens on Amazon of all places. I think it was 40 something pounds new. He's very heavily oxidised and I don't think I will clean him because I think he may have been actually oxidised that way on purpose. He does have some silver markings, which I couldn't see in the shop, but I did think it was silver. I was hoping that it would be. I don't know if you can see just on the top there, there are some silver marks. And according to the Amazon listing, this is a leather cord and a stainless steel push clasp. 
and it was 195 what a bargain so i'm going to experiment with this i think i will see if i can take it easily off this cord and see how it looks on a chain i was also thinking that it would look cool with a bead in the middle like a lamp work troll bead or a pandora style bead in the middle so i'm going to see how that looks as well so i'll have a little play and i may wear it once or twice as well before i move it on because i think he is awesome what was your favorite hit me up in the comments let me know what was your favorite piece i will pop some more videos up on the screen for you to watch next and if you are new to the channel please do check it out there's lots more thrift hauls unboxings and upcycling transformations hit that subscribe and the bell and i shall see you in the next one bye guys